Hey guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be going over how to build this railroad crossing uh, cantilever signal. And it just uh, means that there's like a bar on top of the regular one. I do have the original one right here, and I recommend you watch this tutorial first for the, uh, the regular railroad crossing. Because we're sort of just going to modify it so that we build this one. So this one, it's basically supposed to be for, I think, four lanes wide. Uh, you could extend the cantilever to whatever dimensions you want, but this is like the basic one. I didn't add the other side uh, just to save time. I'm just going to show you how to build this side. So uh, let's begin. So first off, let's take a cobblestone wall and add three on top of this bar. One, two, three. And then let's take iron trapdoor. Just add one right below uh, on the first block. And then we're going to skip a block. Add another iron trap door and we're gonna make it sorry <laughs> we're gonna make it 11 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven same thing it's a little bit tricky since the iron trap door is pretty small and you can see I'm on my server fox shot so you can see chat in the background I should have turned that off but oh well so after we do that, we're going to add a cobblestone wall. Just start that right here and just do it like every other block. And then let's add an iron, uh, it's an iron wall, right? Iron bars. <laughs> just add that between the cobblestone walls like that. And let's add uh, the signal. So we're going to use a gray wool like we did in the original one, but you could use a different type of block actually. Actually, I did. I didn't change it for. Oh well. Okay, so we're gonna use gray concrete now because that's the new thing, and it's pretty smooth. And we're just gonna add like two blocks like that, right at the edge, and that's gonna be our signal. And you can add it on the other side. I believe they have it on the other side. I'm not quite sure, but we're just gonna do that anyways. And we're gonna actually uh, modify this road so that it's uh, two lanes wide. So if you're building this. Just make it two lanes wide, and I recommend uh, moving this thing actually back. I didn't do for that one, but uh, I'm pretty sure if you see this, you need more stopping distance, maybe like 10 blocks. So it looks like that, and I'm using World Edit just to make uh, it a lot faster, or else this tutorial will take forever. So, yeah, we're just gonna fill in the middle the lines it goes across and uh, if you want you can add a center line like a lane but I didn't add that for now but yeah this is basically how wide we want the road to be and we also want to change uh, this the bar that goes across and we're gonna add it until we reach um, until we reach basically the center so it should end on a red. So we're just going to do the alternating pattern with the red and white carpet. So red right there. All right, and then white between. So it has a really long cross, not a crossbar. Oh yeah, I learned that this is called cross books apparently. All right, so after we do that, uh, let's add item frame for the signals on top. And I did notice that uh, some of these cantilever signals, they have a separate bar from uh, the original signal, but sometimes they actually have it in a single bar like this, with the, this uh, pole, right? And yeah, we can also add uh, more cross books on top, although my cross books, it's pretty huge. But if you want, you can add it. I mean, even though it's huge, at least it looks like it's from Minecraft, you know? really it might be like a single block but it's really oversized but yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you want you can add uh, more of these boxes and even make this longer and you can customize it to whatever because uh, there's a lot of railroad crossings in the world and you probably look a lot different and it's not really based on any one any one particular railroad crossing I just 
uh, saw it like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you can use it in your railroads from now on. I will have a tutorial on more of these and I actually have another cantilever signal on the way uh, for the regular freight, not for a crossing, but like on the actual railroad itself. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more training tutorials in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.